What would you think of a Polish person if you met them because of Kajik? What kind of characteristics do you think they might have? I reckon Polish people, they'd have, um, they, I think they'd be quite loyal um, and they would they would they wouldn't always count on other people to do to help them i think they would do stuff on their own even even though like because everybody has everybody has abilities everybody can do things but i think they'd be um i think they would help each other in times of need so if you ask them a question about kajik i think they'll have like a lot to say but a lot of good stuff to say about him it's got a symbol of the polish underground army and that's where, after Kazik escaped, um, he joined the Polish partisans. I think you read, you read about them. I know that um, Poland um, um, is quite a small country, but like the people, like they're not um, embarrassed to be like Polish after like what has happened to them. They're like so proud to be Polish. I think Polish people um, are really brave, like um, like Kazik. I think that Polish people um, aren't just brave, like, they're like every um, other person, but like, there's something about them that kind of makes them like really special to themselves and each other, because like, I kind of think that they'll be like there for each other in times of needs, and like, they'll just be like, spe just special people. I actually think Polish people, they stand up for their rights, and you should give people respect for standing up for their rights and not backing down because if somebody's dominating somebody's life you won't just sit there and let them do it you stand up you stand up and try and earn you try and earn the respect you deserve and the rights you think Polish people stand up for their rights yeah do you think do you think that it's because of what you saw from Kajik yeah he, it kind of, it might have been, I think it kind of inspired most people, Polish people to stand up for their rights as well. This story. Mm -hmm.